he's a huge, he was a huge Bruce Springsteen fan growing up. Yeah. So we got along really well. He used to have a Swedish girlfriend. He actually really? went to Sweden for a couple of years. So he really? Knew Swedish. He, he always, he doesn't know it fluently, but he always liked to talk Swedish yeah. to us because cool. he could. Cool. You know? And he's like, the first day, he's like, don't talk shit about me, dudes. I know Swedish. I'm like, okay, <laughs> thanks for the heads up. It's the thing, they were at the tune track yeah, for the drum kit from hell oh, and all that yeah. stuff up in Umeå yeah. that Frederick was, and Thomas was yeah. uh, in on starting. Mm -hmm. So we, they ha we had this kind of special one-off show for the tune track anniversary. Yeah. And they were up there too, so we played together and we yeah. were in the tune track studio doing interviews together. Oh, really? So that's what you saw. Oh, yeah. I, I didn't realize that. But I, I, he's a nice dude, but yeah. I, I talk more to Misha. Oh, yeah. yeah because, sure. But because we're both hockey freaks, ice oh, hockey. Oh. <laughs> so we talk a lot yeah, about ice yeah. hockey. So yeah. we play with the Dillinger, uh, no, not Dillinger, uh, Devin Townsend Project, us and Periphery at yeah, the Brixton Perif Academy oh. last year at this show. Yeah. And um, it was funny because they opened up and then we played and then. Devin played, I think, or if it was the other way around. But everybody was kind of warming, warming up, and me yeah. and Misha <laughs> and uh, Ryan, the drummer from Devin, and, yeah. and their guitar player, I always forget his name. Anyway, we were just stuck in the hallway talking yeah. hockey, and all, our, all the three managers of the bands were like standing back to let us speak, but yeah. they were going like, you so guys, you need to, you know, yeah. like, wait a minute, wait a minute, you know, like, but it's stage time for you, Misha. Yeah, yeah. but we're talking to Capitals over here, you yeah. know, like, great you know. right, dude. Yeah. Well, Well, you know, because I think people ask us about something that I might want to say is like, people ask us for, for stuff that has, you know, like, why is, why are you, like, almost pissed off? Like, why are you releasing such a fucking expensive guitar? Uh, Nobody can buy it. We're like, well, okay. Okay, it's signature. Yeah, but the thing is that we said that, okay, if we're going to release the first signature, yeah. it's going gonna, it's gonna to have to be the guitar that we yeah. have. Yeah. Exactly the guitar that we have. Yeah. Otherwise, we're fooling people. It's like, yeah. here's our signature model. Yeah. It's nothing like the ones we play, but yeah. it's our signature yeah. model. You know, that's not right, you know? Yeah, but course. unfortunately, making that kind of scale neck through, there's no production line for that yeah. right now. Yeah. So they have to be handmade. Yeah. That's why they're yeah. expensive. So and that's why the one that they can uh, produce like for product line is so much more cheap. Yeah. But that's a great guitar, the one, the cheaper well, one. Okay, thanks again for your time, for no conversations. Problem. Thank you for your music. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. <laughs>